Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante, and we are live here at EMC World 2012. This is day two of EMC World. This is our third EMC World with theCUBE. We were here all day Monday, it was a cloud day. Today is all about value, extracting value from data, which is really the business transformation that we're seeing. And uh, EMC is really pushing that, some great marketing. And we're here with Richard Snee, who's the event chairman of the Data Science Summit and former CMO of Greenplum. That's Welcome, right. Welcome, Richard, good to see you back here. Dave, it's great to see you. And Thanks uh, for having you know, me. You, I, have to, I have to give you a lot of credit <laughs> because you know, I was saying today earlier, look, marketing's changing, it has to become a source of value. And that's really what the Data Science Summit is all about. It's, it's great marketing, but you're not there selling people. You're not like taking orders for Green Plum. You're <laughs> delivering value to a community. Um, you know, Tim O'Reilly likes to say, you know, yeah, create more value than you extract. And that's sort of the philosophy that you're taking here, isn't it? It really is. And uh, it's a testament, really, to EMC and Greenplum to make that investment in the people and in the growing community of data science. And uh, last year, I don't know if you recall, we, I was we, there. we kicked it off, right? Yeah. And uh, what was interesting, we, we made a subtle change, but it's an important one. Last year, it was about celebrating the data scientist. And you, know, you guys at the time did this amazing infographic about the characteristics of a data scientist. And so that event was about that individual and that individual being the rock star in the big data era. But a year later, what's interesting, it's about a data science team. What we've learned is that that rock star might be at the core, but it really is about the team built around that data scientist. And so thematically for us, it's an expansion of all of the people involved, ranging from you know, BI professionals to sysadmin to you name it. There's a, there's a continuum of people that really need to be involved in this process. Yeah, you know, it's subtle. The reason I was peeking there is because <laughs> in my head was data scientist and I said, I think Richard said data science. Yeah. You know, so that is a subtle change and an important one because it is a team sport. It, it is, it absolutely is a team sport. Speaking of team sport, we have Jeremy Howard from Kaggle yeah, with us, Kaggle, right, right? who's been on, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, and if I could, if you'd indulge me, I'd like to talk about some of the, you know, really amazing Yeah, that's really what, that we what, have. what we'd like to do in this segment, is, right. uh, is, is talk about that and sort of memorialize what's going to happen here. Right, so, um, and, I, and I brought some notes, so, Great. so I don't miss have anybody. It, yeah. But uh, I think importantly, you know, for me, it's, it's kind of framing it with powerful, inspiring keynote speakers. And we're kicking the program off tomorrow with Nate Silver of 458.com. Mm. And his fame, of course, comes from predictions around the 2008 elections. Right. But he has a really rich history about starting on the sports side, kind of money ball, starting out that way, to his political predictions. And, and so he's both a practitioner and a wonderful writer. He's working on a book now. He's going to share some of that early with us at the Data Science, but it's really about the, the perils of predictive analytics and what can go right and what can go wrong. So we're thrilled about that. We're going to close the summit with the same gentleman that we had last year, Jonathan Harris. Jonathan is an artist, programmer, and storyteller, mm -hmm. and we got such amazing response from a technical community about someone talking about the emotional or human aspect of all that we're doing here around data. So we brought, brought him back. Uh, so that's kind of how we're bookend, bookending the summit. But in between, we have, we're thrilled. We have the um, editor of Time International, Jim Frederick, that's going to moderate a panel for us. And uh, he's going to moderate a panel on social data. And as you know, that is a huge topic about, first of all, what is it? Right? Is it data that people contribute knowingly or unknowingly? And what is it that we're all doing with that? And how so, do I find the value that's in that exhaust fume, you know? I mean. Right, that's a great, you know, it, more and more I'm hearing, I'm hearing that term, exhaust, whether it's mobile exhaust, data exhaust, yeah. and, and there's all kinds of there's all kinds of opportunities and issues as we're finding with all of this stuff. And so we also have a great representation from academia. Like we have professors here from Columbia, Berkeley. Stanford, uh, you know, really talking about the movement. And it's something that, that is really connected to kind of the spirit and the investment that EMC is making in the training program for data science. And so we have a great panel being led by 
one of, I call him, a, he's a member of the uh, big data rat pack, that's Mike Driscoll, <laughs> right? He's now CEO of MetaMarkets, right. and uh, so he'll be, he'll be there leading that panel, and uh, we just have a, an amazing cast of characters um, you know, for this summit, so we're, Fantastic. we're thrilled. Now, last year you had, you had a full house, it was, you, know, you, had, you were turning people away, I mean, I, I was there, I was standing in the back, I know it was hundreds of people, right? Right, so we had 300 yeah. and, uh, last year, and we had about, I think, 150 solid data science practitioners. So half the audience was right. real data science practitioners. Right, and then we had some line of business, and we had some support uh, people there, and, and of course, our team, our, our employees. This year, it's twice as big. So we're approaching about 600 as far as registered attendees, and uh, you know, just as the you know shows the nature of the growth one year later. So we're thrilled about that. Yeah. Now, so um, again, that subtle change from data scientist to data science, you know, expanding the team, which involves a lot of different, I would think, business people, technical people, and so forth, and maybe even the traditional BI folks. You know, yeah. uh, I presume you're welcoming them into this team, right? Absolutely. We have this uh, you know wonderful speaker. Uh, her name is Pianca Jane, and her company is called Aring. A-R-Y-N-G, and she's former uh, predictive um, analytics specialist and expert at PayPal, but she has this consulting firm. Her, her keynote is specifically about the path from business intelligence to data science, right? Because it really is this kind of, um, it's a journey, you know, we talk about journey quite a bit, right? Journey to the cloud, journey to big data. Each individual, they also are making their own journey and how they're you know, where do they fit in this big data world? And so we're thrilled to be able to bring them along. We're finding that in addition to the, the core experts, the leading data scientists, there are a lot of aspirational data scientists that want to know what is my path, what's my next step? And so we're supporting them as well. Richard, what's the format like? So uh, again, you, you hosted it last year. I did. You host yeah. it again this year? Or, and, and then, so describe the, the day. So the day starts out, we have a keynote. So that you know, starts off with a kind of a classic conference keynote that's you know, 30 minutes with Q&A. We then break to a panel, and as I said, Jim Frederick, editor of Time International, former managing editor of Time.com, he's got a data sense that's really fantastic. He is moderating this panel of some heavy hitters. Right, so Nathan Wolf of GVFI, Andreas Weigand of the Social Data Lab, right, you know Andreas. Infrastructure is irrelevant, uh, yeah. uh, Andreas Weigand, yes. Right, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So there's a panel structure, uh, I mean a panel um, after the keynote, and then we're moving to, we used this last year, I don't know if you remember, but we had a, a series where there were individuals with some lightning talks, so they take about yeah, 10 yeah. minutes. Great. And and for this summit, it's really, those lightning talks, we have five amazing people, including an executive from Intuit, which is, is fantastic, where they're going to take 10 minute lightning talks and it really is under the hood. Like, what did you do? What tools did you use? What was the process that you used? What was not only the, the technical process, but what was the thought process you used to extract value, to solve a problem, to answer a question? And we think that's going to be just you know, amazing. What I loved about the lightning talks, Richard, is that um, you know when you get a talk like this, you can only absorb so much, right? And you're looking for ideas. That's why you come to conferences like this. You're looking for ideas and you want to meet people. You don't need to absorb everything there is to know, but I want to be able to take a, you know, some takeaways and then you leave them wanting more, which is, I thought, I thought you did a very good job of doing that. I don't know if it was on purpose, but it worked great, I thought, last year. Yeah, and it's interesting. We, we learned so much last year, and you mentioned networking. Right, we're very sensitive to, we saw some of that in action last year and we wanted to amplify that a bit. So there are great opportunities for people during lunch mm -hmm. to, you know, birds of a feather. We have a great party planned, you know, tomorrow night where people will be able to get together and socialize and connect and we think that's really, really important. Fantastic, all right, well listen, congratulations on uh, the second year, I mean it's really starting to explode. Where do you want to take this? Well, I, I have to say that, that I think you know, EMC, Greenplum, really, really smart. This is what leaders mm -hmm. do. They support the community, they connect with the community to help them better understand what kind of products and services they need. And I, I think that it will just be an ongoing thing that uh, 
this community has a sense of loyalty now to the, the people that have brought them together, and I, I think it will continue to go on and continue to grow, and I'm excited yeah, about that. Yeah, I mean, you reached critical mass last year. It was a really high quality event, and uh, it's just, I, I would expect it's just going to keep growing and growing from here, so. Yeah, uh, I hope so. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, and, thanks so much. Uh, thanks very much for yeah, taking some time. Th and thanks for having coming me. Coming on theCUBE, all right. I appreciate it. Okay, keep it right there. We'll be back uh, in just a minute to wrap up day two from EMC World Live uh, 2012 from Las Vegas. Keep it right there.